Hey guys, what's up? It's Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time today with a drone special again, but from inside the office at the beginning. Um, we want to take a look today if the new GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, the 4K GoPro, fits into the Phantom 2. Uh, being exact, does it fit into the Zenmuse H3 2D gimbal of the Phantom? Because actually the gimbal was made for the GoPro Hero 3. Um, do we just want to check it out? And uh, before you start watching if it fits or if it doesn't, and I have to send it back or throw it into the trash, you should watch the full length video about the heroes, uh, what one to use, the Hero 3 or 3 Plus or 4, um, what's best for aerial filming. Just check it out here or here. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put the link later. Just check it out and right now we're going to try to put the 4 into the Zemus. Check it out. So guys, I'm back with some results. The first thing that we have seen was that the GoPro Hero 4 fitted perfectly into the Zemmuse gimbal. No problems at that point. Nothing. Everything was working perfectly. But when we were up in the air, several problems occurred. The very first problem, and the problem that I'm not sure how to fix yet, I'm gonna check that out later, is that the uh, GoPro at some point um, just flipped away. Still. Things were stable, but in a different angle. So it wasn't stable like that, but it was stable like that. Maybe that's because of the weight that's a little different to the three that I was using before. I'm gonna check that out and if I know anything new, I'm gonna post it down here. So if you don't see anything, turn off your ad block or whatever you've got installed and you might see it. So the second problem we had was that we had no FPV connection at all. I'm gonna show you how the monitor looked like when it was perfectly installed waiting for um, a signal. Well, the signal was there. There was just a black screen. And um, that actually is because GoPro changed uh, the pins at the back of the camera. So now the pins are differently than the pins um, of the uh, Zemmuse. But we can change that. There's a fix to that. So if you need FPV, like I do, um, we should change the pins and that is actually not that hard to do but the problem is I haven't got the parts here I gotta order them today or I'm just gonna talk to DJI maybe they can get me some because I am not quite sure what I need yet but I'm gonna find out um so well what we can say is you can take the GoPro Hero 4 black put it into the Zenmuse and things are gonna work until some point well it tipped over once it only happened once and FPV is a tricky issue still so, if we can get around that, I will post a link right here. Click it and you will be able to fly with FPV again. 
So thanks for watching the video. Uh, there are plenty of other Phantom videos available. I mean, you can fly with the Phantom 2, with the Phantom 2 Vision, Vision Plus, whatever. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And um, of course, if I get things here fixed, I'll post some new videos. You might subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. Thanks for watching. That was Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Talk.